コリオリ重力効果補正完了狙撃条件オールクリア撃ち方はこれが今の私解放戦力 96% Hey, what's good, guys? Welcome back to the challenge, your boy Zen, and we are back at it again, man. And you know what time it is, man. Hey, we, I'm just gonna be honest with y'all, bro. This is gonna be a short one. Obviously, because we know HBG shreds, bro. Heavy bow gun don't play no games. Like, I mean, light bow gun is his younger brother that then big, big brother come through. You know what I mean? And now big brother's here, big brother gonna do big brother things. You know what I mean? Bang, bang, bada boom, bada bang. Bada bop, boom, pow. Oh! You know what I mean? That's <laughs> stupid. Uh, but anyway, man, I'm excited to show this. Uh, just to show us a showcase, bro, some things you could do. Um, I say this like I said in the beginning for uh, for light bow gun because I know bow gun like albeit that there's fast speed runs, bro. Like they're pretty cut and dry. Usually you go in, spread shot, bang, 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 you're done. You know what I mean? Um, so I encourage you guys also, if you are just like a casual or like, or if you're just looking at this and it's like, oh, this is gonna be something I already seen before. Like also look at this, cause once we hit rise, excuse me, once we hit wilds, like this is gonna be an opportunity that we're gonna have to like start all over again. Meaning that we're gonna have to no different type of strategies, no different types of guns. And because we have two types of guns, bro, like HBG is definitely a viable option, bro. Especially if you're like, especially if you're hunting in like a party of four. So understanding how to CC um, uh, crowd control, in case you know what that is. And in case you know what crowd control is, basically how to control the monster, like keeping them not moving. I was trying to make sure people know that. Cause if you're dumb like me, I didn't know that. It took me a while to learn it. <laughs> um, Knowing um, how to position a mon monster in certain kind of ways, uh, knowing what ammo types work best on certain monsters. Obviously, you know most of the monsters are weak to raw, but some are also weak to element. You know what I mean? So like knowing how to operate these weapons, kind of like already having strategies already down. This is what like this showcase also is very good to do as well, man. So it's just some things to kind of think about, bro. Look at the mechanics, see what you like, see what you don't like, man. But most importantly, bro, like support these runners because these dudes, like they literally grind, you know what I mean? And HBG runners, they grind because they're grinding milliseconds. Like it take a different breed of insanity to want to do this, you know what I mean? So <laughs> um, definitely, bro. But anyway, if you guys like this content, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to your boy. I also stream on Twitch, so subscribe to me there as well, man. I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, stay zen. All right, um, so the name of this runner is JJ Boomstick, Boomski, excuse me. Um, and this is a Nergi Gante run, bro. And as always, please make sure you guys follow these uh, runners, man. They work so hard on this, bro. Like, without a doubt, I always try to uplift them and give them the credit where credit's due because they do so, so much good work, bro. And uh, this runner is on Billy Billy. Just in case if you guys don't know, Billy Billy is the Chinese version of YouTube for a simpler term. Um, so I encourage you guys, culture yourself, get to know that channel. Like, it's some really fun stuff on there, man. So, yep. And then we're living in that skull, baby. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving! Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of that, bro. So, for those that are new to HBG, like the reason why they're in that scope, it gives you like a like a thirty percent damage buff. I want to say, like it's stupid significant. I don't know why um, Capcom did it that way, bro. It, bro, it hurts my eyes. I should have done a disclaimer. Like, guys, you're gonna be living in this scope, bro. Living in it, camped in it. <laughs> But if you look at the damage numbers, it's insane, bro. I think each spread pellet has about eight, and each one of those eight is doing like 71 damage, 
80 sometimes. Sometimes you can even get up to like 90, bro. It's crazy. Yeah. Spread is nutty, bro. Like, it's not even fair. Like, you go to multiplayer hunts, it's ridiculous. And when you're dealing with like HBG specifically, like the rate of fire, like has a lot to do with it, especially with Frey, uh, with a uh, spread. And that'll be like how Dang. fast you're spraying out um, each cluster of eight. So if I'm going boom, 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 bro, like that's ridiculous. That's like, you know what I'm saying? You're almost like 800 per like 20 seconds. And it's crazy. Ugh, bruh. And as you can see, we just turned Nergigante into a one minute and 40 42 second run bro that's pookie times like there's less than pookie times bro that's stupid you know what i mean and this is an elder dragon so i encourage you guys like notice keep this in mind bro like because when you're running this in wilds like this is how we're gonna farm <laughs> this you want to know how to get uh attack decos get this i think this is the vor um what you call it? Uh, HBG. That's which is the Fatalis HBG. Yeah. So just know that if you wanna, you wanna farm, hundred percent. Yes, sir. It's gonna be that. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the next. All right, guys. Um. So this next runner um goes by the name of Lupin the Third or Lupin Three, whichever way you wanna call it. Um. Or I think in uh YouTube it may be looping i i i but it's supposed to like stand for the numerical three you know what i mean so yeah bro um this is an arch tempered run i wanted to showcase this because this is an arch tempered um heroics run so we just saw what spray can do now we finna see what spray can do like completely charged all the way up with one of the hardest monsters in the game you know what i mean so let's just dive into it all right let's run it sorry i had to refresh that Nice. So we tenderize. Um, it looks like he has on rock steady, yeah. So because it's the heroics run, he just needs to get hit. Oh wait, this may not be the build for y'all. Cause he's running, he's running heroics. Yo, scratch what I said earlier. <laughs> this is for heroics. That's not for the just the Vore Buster. All right, so here we go. Actually, nah, you can actually run that run. Just uh, replace the potential jewels with attack jewels. And uh, let's go with attack jewels and um, I want to say uh, challenger. Just take out the potential jewels and then replace it with the normal attack jewels. You can do it. So he's got heroes going, where at what? 95 a pellet? Yeah, see, yeah, this is stupid. This is stupid. This is absolutely stupid. Like, ridiculous. Like, look at that. It's just disrespectful at this point. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Look, don't knock it. Watching it is probably just like, it's on easy mode. But like, y'all actually do this. It's actually really fun. Like, it is super fun. Rolling into a hunt like this, Looking like Rambo with a shotgun, bruh. Like, yeah, it is like I lost to my little friend. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's not even Rambo. I mean, this way, I'm just in there. But look, you get the point. <laughs> it's a gun reference. You know what I mean? They're all run together. <laughs> yeah, this is fun, bro. Like playing with this gun is fun. It's definitely easy mode, but it is so fun. But I love his transitions. Like his positioning is still dope. Like it's still dope. Yeah, baby. That's hard cheese right there, buddy. That's hard Gouda cheese. That's smoked Gouda. <laughs> Gouda. Look. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, that's too easy. Too easy, man. Too easy. This right here is why, like, uh, LBG, uh, excuse me, HBG, bro, like, it's not even, like, even considered, like, like, oh, my God, you're broken. It's just one of those things that's just understood. It's just like, okay. All right, H HBG. <laughs> <laughs> you know 
Yeah, bro. But I feel like this shines a lot, especially when you're in like um, group hunts. Oh, dude. Thank God for HBG, bro. That CC is just, yes. Ugh, trifecta. Anyway. All right, guys. Let's go to the next one. All right, guys. Um, let's go ahead and go to this next one. So this next one um, will be a Pierce build. So this is going to showcase kind of like how HBG bro goes dumb crazy. I'm going to go ahead and like this. Um, goes dumb crazy with Pierce, bro. I feel like for me, my two favorite ammunitions for HBG is Pierce and Slicing Ammo. Pierce and Slicing Ammo is like stupid crazy. It's so good, bro. Like I, I just like the animations. I love the sound of it. And I like how it feels. You know what I mean? Um, so this name of this runner is um, Raleo. I think I said that right, but y'all know me by now, bruh. My pronunciation and dyslexia is strong, bro. Like strong with the force with that one. <laughs> but anyway, man, uh, this is an uh, Latrion HBG run. So let's just go ahead and dive into it, bro. And forgive me if I butchered that name. <laughs> Continue. Yup. Is this a rogue? Is this a rogue? Is he putting on nine times out of ten? If someone's putting on rock steady for an Alatrion run, is almost one hundred percent heroics. You can just kind of know they off grip with speedrunning. Yeah, what I tell you? Yeah, because usually want to clutch claw on immediately when you get in. Um, if you got rock steady on because. Uh, a Latron, every single time you clutch claw on him, right when you get in, he runs. So when he runs, it causes damage, which makes it very easy to proc heroics. Like, that's like in its like natural script. So just something for you guys to know, even on console, like if you're running on console, like you can do that every single time and he'll do it every single time. Or the majority of the time at least. Cause he doesn't like it when you clutch claw onto him. Especially on the head, so he just tries to like pin you and knock you off. Yeah, bro, look at that pierce damage, bro. Just rat, rat. See, this is just like um, light bow gun, but light bow gun was hitting like less numbers than this. And HBG, oh my god, bro, stupid crazy. Look at this. Jesus. This is why I love this ammunition, man. You get you a monster with a long, girthy tail, you're done. Cooked. Shit in the shredder. That's what I call a shredder right here, bro. Like, all the way through. Look at that. Because at this point, now you're just trying to aim to the like body parts that's going to like penetrate holes um, in the most efficient way. You know what I mean? Get more bang for your, uh, for your bang. More bang for your bang, you know what I mean? <laughs> pew, pew. Love it. Nice. Yep. Just shredding through. Look at that. 96s, 93s. Is there a hundred? I swear I thought 103. Yeah, and so you want to aim for that chest piece for a Latron, because that's like the best place to hit him at. So yeah, bro, I encourage you guys, go ahead and get you an HBG build. Like even if in, even if you just kind of like, I don't really mess with H HBG, but like you want to save a hunt, you got someone in the multiplayer uh, that's just not doing enough damage. And look, bro, if you are that person in a multiplayer hunt, not doing enough damage and you know it, and we need to win and we're down two carts, just go ahead, hit that far caster, swallow your pride. Grab that HBG <laughs> and get to and get to spreading. Pause. Do that while I spray. <laughs> My God. Gonna swallow the pride, homeboy. <laughs> Look, man, we all been there. Well, you know it, bro. You you flying around, maybe with the insect glaive. You know what I mean? You know, maybe with a long sword, you ain't getting your counters off like you're supposed to. And you know you the weak link. You don't need a mod to tell you it. You know. <laughs> you know what I mean? You done died two times, eating up the life pool. Mm. Being greedy. 
Not sharing the lives. <laughs> Look, it's okay. But you know what I'm saying? Do it for the team. Everybody wants to go home, you know, with the materials they need to go get. You know it. You know what's happening. You know what I'm saying? You know it. It's you. You are the weak link. Goodbye. Instead of just leaving the hunt or just sitting in the back, you know what I mean? Not letting no one know. You know hoping no one notices. Look, bruh. Just swallow the ride. <laughs> Grab the HBG for the cheese. Grab the HPG for the cheese. Look, that should be a slogan, bro. Swallow your pride and grab the HBG for the cheese. <laughs> Swallow your pride and grab the HBG for the cheese. <laughs> for the team. You know what I mean? <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> Lama bean. Look, I'm dead, bro. Let's die. <laughs> okay. All right. I got turned around on that one. That was too funny. Okay, guys. Um... Here, this hunt is the Devil Jin Nergigante mod. I love this mod, bro. It's so lit. And you guys need to know this monster's health is like more than Fatalis. So just keep that in mind. So as we look at this, just keep that in mind, bro. Like this is what's happening. And it's just it's a testament to the HBG. I think the last one that I showed here, we we saw it was like, what was it? like six minutes five six minutes and it was visory and he was using a bow he was using a bow it was hbg like sub five was like i think he did a sub five or a sub six one or two um but this is hbg so this is the difference in damage you know what i mean this is the difference in our power level <laughs> all right let's get it oh um let me go ahead and say this i didn't even do it so the name of this runner is Mari um phenomenal runner bro he has a lot of HBG runs so you guys make sure you give him a follow I think he does primarily HBG too I think he has some bow but primarily HBG there we go bro that monster looks so sexy to me let me turn this up yup Oof. Oh, oh, wait, heroics. Yo, he's doing heroics on this monster? Yo, ballsy. Ooh, okay. Yup. Nice. Yup. Put him in a shredder. Yeah, he's gonna actually have to work. I think his threshold's a little bit higher on these uh, topples and these stuns. Yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do here? Is he rolling? <gasps> oh my god. Yo, he has to time that evasion so perfectly. Oh, yo, this is interesting. This theme song is fire, too. Whoever came up with this lit. Yup. Okay, he's moved to the side. Okay. Yeah, he's cautious. He's not just firing off. It's not a frivolous fire you know what i mean very very um precise yeah bro he's not missing no shots oh as i as he misses one <laughs> nice okay so good he's getting the breaks i'm guessing that's his his uh his cycle oh so little side note guys so if you're speed running every weapon almost every single weapon on almost every single monster has like a damage cycle you know what i mean like normally capcom's really good at that there's some type of topple or tail that you want to get into kind of a loop process with the monster this is this is when you're talking about when we say learning the monster's patterns but just kind of like look for that so for this for this specific like cycle this is what i like to call it or like um damage cycle if you will um he's trying to literally go for the topple by breaking the horns on the head and on the arms but once they go down he deals the most damage that he can he gets up he roars wash rinse repeat watch you know what i'm saying he just roared shooting he's building up stunt uh knockdown damage 
He couldn't do much about that one because his uh, threshold is a little high. But watch, the break is going to come as soon as his uh, his horns come back. Yep, his horns coming back. It's almost there. Oh, wait, my bad. This is a CC time. So, okay, cool. Ooh. Yo! That's, that's 1,148 damage. Why not just say 1148? But it's okay, though. You guys keep that in mind, bro. I didn't know. That's actually really smart. You can clutch claw into the monster. And the timing of the clutch claw was lit. Because what he did is he waited as the monster was going to sleep rather than waiting right when the monster was asleep. So it didn't wake him up. So he went down with the hunter like already on him. Fire, bro. Yeah, this guy, this HBG run is actually like having to use a little bit of neurons for this one, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not saying you have to use neurons for it, but you get what I'm saying. Like he's having to move around a little bit, be precise a little bit more in his movements. Yeah. Another thing you can tell a good HBG runner is two things. One, about how, how he cycles through his ammo. Two, how well, um, how many shots he miss. I think on here I saw maybe three, maybe two. Not even three, two. Strong. This is a this is this is a solid build too. You guys may want to keep this one. I may want to keep this one. I'm sitting talking to y'all. Put this in my repertoire. <laughs> Grab <Grata> cheese. <laughs> Look, man. Yeah, bro. That's actually pretty good. That's really good. I love that. I like how he put his name. Heroics is the best move. <laughs> That's funny. All right, guys. <sighs> Oh, also, here's the custom mods, too. These are really good. I'm, I'm encouraging guys to look at this because, like, these are great farming tools. At the very least, as you guys watch this, bro, this is farmable activity. <laughs> All right, guys, go to the next one. Okay, guys, this guy needs no introduction. He is a pinnacle in... LBG, HBG, gun activity. You know what I mean? He is what you call a, you know, not LGBTQ, but like basically a gun sexual. <laughs> I love it, bro. And uh, he, no, literally, like at his channel, you'll see it. He'll, he's literally calls it gun sexual. That's what he does. <laughs> so anyway, man, bro, um, this is Anjabata. A phenomenal content creator and a phenomenal speedrunner. Um, but even more so, he does more uh, guides and builds and things of that nature. Um, especially when it comes to LBG and the HBG. So guys, like heavy bow gun, light bow gun. If you want to know anything about anything, I mean niche builds, mean builds, fun builds, meta builds. He's going to be the first one to come to. You need to subscribe to his channel. He literally will be your go-to for cheese in wilds. So, like, there's no question. He's a pillar in the community. Like, yes. Like, 100%. So, anyway, this is Andrew uh four-man HBG sticky. Uh, what he calls sticky abuse. <laughs> Speed run on Safi Jeeva. Fool. Oh, my God, bro. So it's just to know this is going to be stupid, dumb, broken. So this is him and his friends, man. So let's just go ahead and dive into it. Take a look. This is the best way to end this. Oh, my bad. It do has style. I just love it. <laughs> Make sure this is up. When that thing's exhausted, it'll start absorbing energy. When the energy pull is dried up, it'll retreat to a lower level. Use that hey, Edge about it. Shout out to you, bro. I always love your content. You always make me smile at everything you do. He's like really smooth, kind of jazzy. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Let the sticky begin. Bro, I take that back. I said slicing ammo and piercing ammo my favorite. Slicing ammo, piercing ammo is sticky. I forgot those three. Yeah. Oh, and dragon ammo. Jesus. Well, top four. <laughs> and clusters! Oh my god, I forgot about clusters! Bro, clusters is so fun. The 
Celestials are late. They are grossly underrated. Everyone, on the wing drake. Yeah, so, see, that's the other thing, too. Opening. Most people go to is spread them. I mean, trying to spread them cheeks. Pause. <laughs> But the real, hey, like, the real point with HPG is just Bring cycling out. through your ammo, like, through different ammunitions. Elemental, stick, piercing, slicing, dragon, poison, like, you know, like, just cycling through them. For me, at least, I find that that's the best way and the funnest way, like, to play the game. That's why I feel like you get the most out of it, and, like, it, it increases, it may not increase your time, but it increases the player experience. I think that's what you really have to understand HBG, like and what you're playing for. Obviously, you're going to speed run. It's going to be 100%, nine times out of ten. Um, spread, spread is going to be it. Possibly sticky, depending on the hit zone for a monster, but spread. But beyond that, like the rest of the ammunition, bro, like it, it'll improve your player experience with this weapon, like so great. Especially if you're a casual, like it's a lot of fun. Is this part of the weapon is just like it just makes me excited. We're already in the third phase. The lowest reaches of the area. This is it. The final showdown. See, this is the thing though. Yeah. This uh, using the stickies like it bypasses all of that the the damage threshold. Just a set amount of damage. Hurry. So I think it's like I don't know what it is. Like 120. I think that's what it was or something like that. I have to see. This is crazy, bro. I actually love Savage Jesus fight. Obviously, you know, it was a grind doing it, but like, take it out of the grind session and just like make it for the fight for what it is. Yeah, it's fun. I wish they did what they did for KT with Savage Jesus. Nowhere to run. I really do. Gotta try and wear it out runs out of energy. I thought they were supposed to. They said they were. But I think it just gave up on it. Like, it wasn't working. It's okay, by the power of mods, I'm pretty sure they can do something about that. I mean, it's not like they need to now, it's gonna be fake on the wilds, but, you know, it would be nice. Hey, wink, wink. <laughs> yeah, 123 for a hit. Yeah, and everybody's firing off. Yeah, bro. Yeah, cooked. And, and, and uh, Sticky does stupid amounts of cluster damage. You wanna you wanna give Kushala a run for his money? Run this. Sticky's, bro, Sticky's is spread. Bruh. Bruh. Kush is done. Kush is cooked. Cooked Kush. <laughs> like, look at that. Look at his face, bro. Just lit up like a Christmas tree. Now you hear it's boom, 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 boom. It's nutty, bro. Ooh, somebody took an L. Drop the ball there. Talking about the most efficient way to get cards too, like off of Safi. Hey, get your boys. Get your boys in your HBG for the cheese. HBG for the cheese. Bro, yeah, too easy. This is actually wild, bro. Dragons. 
That'd be so cool. It'd be nice if you know obviously they have Jiba, right? But they made more red dragons. And like it'd be more like black dragons, red dragons, and even like different breeds of like elder like elf just dragons, you know what I mean? Like these calamities, because it's like all the black dragons are one species. It'd be dope if they expand them on red and then like maybe even like added another group to as well. You know what I mean? Having groups of three usually isn't too bad. It, I won't feel like it'll be the lure won't be saturated. I feel like it'll be just right. You know what I mean? A red dragon, a black dragon, and maybe white dragons. You know what I mean? I think it kind of lit. I don't know. What you guys think in the comment section? I think so. I, I think it'd be kind of cool to do. <laughs> and then you pose, bro. How disrespectful is this to, to Safi? How disrespectful? That's so funny, man. I love it, bro. It's about to so lit, bro. Love it. Oh, is this the run? This is the build. Yeah, this is the build. Okay, yeah, these are nice ones. Alright, there you go for Safi. I don't think this is even... No, this is old. Oh, bro, I guarantee you this could be faster. Because that was the regime. That was when Regine was killing it. I don't think Regine's the meta. I think Vor is. No, I think Vor's meta for spread. I don't know if it's for stickies. I want to say it is, though. Um, HBG uses it in the comment section below is which one's meta right now Rajang for sticky specifically spread or Rajang please yeah answer that in the comment section below we all will have to know and share with the class so we can grab our HBG for the cheese <laughs> But anyway, man, I hope you guys like this content. Please, I say this again, follow all of these speedrunners, man, and content creators. <clears throat> they put the time in to showcase these things, man, and do the research so we don't have to. You know what I mean? So um, it's just it's just so good to just know, bro. Like, it's good to know these things, good to know um, how to run uh, CC like they did here. You know what I mean? Like, and just honestly being able to use it just because we have... We're gonna have two weapons, bro. Like, so everyone's gonna be rocking two mains. So if you if you haven't, whatever thought process you got on whatever second weapon you wanna get, you might as well go ahead and start playing with it now. Start pulling up the old guides. Um, and just literally like start studying, bro. Cause like when we get a wild, I have a strong feeling these monsters are not gonna be easy. So I'm excited. I hope, I hope so. We hope. We hope. We hope Capcom shows us no mercy. Punish us for the sins that we committed in Sunbreak for calling this game easy. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, man. Hopefully you guys like this content. If you do like this content, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to your boy. I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, peace, peace.